comment. Hello. <laughs> now I'm thinking that's the problem. <laughs> Hello. I fixed the problem. You kind of did, yes. No. I am. You didn't fix the problem. It's still going in and out. This is so dumb. I am a problem solver. And you probably sound totally fine. Well, there you go. That's what's sad. Why didn't you, um, doesn't this do four microphones? It does. So we're going to have to test out the other two, probably. We did, remember? Didn't, did we? I don't yeah. remember. Because we started off doing one and two, and then we had to go two and three, and then one didn't work, so now we're at three and four. Oh, God. Then I would have returned it when that didn't work. <laughs> Oh, Just a thought I have, but you know. Hello, we're back doing this show again. Who are my? What are my thoughts? What Meaningless. are your thoughts? Well, you're now our technical director, since. I like to look at it more as an advisor. As an advisor, got it. What you should do. <laughs> which was return. What should which have was been return done. Return it essentially. Yes. Huh. I wonder. I don't even know if I have the receipt oh. to do that. Well, it sounds like a problem. It does. Because it's probably just a crazy sounding. And which, I'm so, we apologize if you're listening to this and it sounds... Well, I sound fine. Uh, yeah, which is, of course. And I tend to do most of the talking anyway. Perhaps I should just turn mine off and talk into hers. Tend to? <laughs> really? Hmm. Maybe we'll try that for the next segment. Or what? <laughs> we'll just use your mic. Well, according to Jay, I wasn't even mic'd, and you could still hear me. Yeah, and you were back there by your and refrigerator. Thank you. Because we are at my humble abode yes. again. Which I love, because... Well, and we even we really shouldn't even say again, because they'll be saying this for the first time <laughs> since we're since the last show. Uh, we were not because able to Because you had other technical problems. Other technical problems. See, you should have come over to my house and fixed that. Well, obviously, that's because you have that AT&T thing. Oh, yeah, that's You right. should have come over here and had a real internet connection. Oh, and God. then Because your real internet connection is Cox? Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Oh, and Cox always Cox. works. Cox always works. This I've is true. <laughs> I've never had it. Well, I have had issues with. You've never had to have your Cox guy out here? Yes, I have. Okay. In fact, I just had them out last week. To do what? Because uh, they doubled my internet speed. See, that's what I needed to have done. <laughs> yeah. Um, and because uh, they doubled my internet speed, the modem that I had... They needed to replace the modem. Right. So they came out and gave me a new modem. Fantastic. Now I am fast. Now everything's fast and lovely. Fast. Well, good. I see Unlike it. other people. I stored your password in here. so. Unlike other people. Oh, well, you know, we got here when we were supposed to. I was talking about the internet. I don't mind. Um, actually, I don't mind coming over because, um, you know, I don't have to talk and I'm not wearing shoes. Again, yes. It's that's really right. good. <laughs> or park. Or park. And you don't have to worry about parking? For no. Sure. Mm -mm. I'm not, I don't have my, I'm not wearing my Spanx. I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> I almost just put on a top and a pair of gym shorts. <laughs> well, at this, they, you know. They wouldn't see, I know, but I wanted to wear this out, this dress. What? Well, really, I wanted to wear these earrings and, Yeah. Well, see, you can't get too comfortable, though, because when we ever go back after the construction at Moe's is completed. If we go back. If we go back. We might just get so comfortable here and we just stay, huh? That's, <laughs> I'm not seeing a problem with that. Oh, hey, you know. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Casa de, <laughs> Casa, de Casa de O. Right. I know, I didn't even check us in. Shit, I should have. What? Is, on, I'm, I don't think Casa de O is on... Um, on Facebook. On Facebook? It's not? Have you never checked in when you were no. here? No. I think that, uh, I don't think that I uh, need people to know where I live. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jay, hmm, maybe you should check and see if I think <laughs> people, I think people just know the vicinity of which I live in. Got it. I don't think they need to know my um, exact address. physical address. So we won't say that it's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there are two closest things are Mariposa ice cream and 24-hour fitness. Thank Mariposa. you. 24-hour fitness? Where the hell is a 24-hour fitness? There is, there? There, is uh, there is another couple, a little gay couple that lives on the street somewhere. I can't... Um, I don't know where they are. They're over here somewhere because I see them checking in all the time. Well, this is a cute little neighborhood. It's This is officially... What is it? Normal, normal, normal Heights. Normal Heights. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love Normal Heights. And you're close to a school. That's good. That means you have a good neighborhood. Is that a nice school? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking go to the school. <laughs> I know it's annoying when they're coming and going. <laughs> Oh, All their parents and everything blocking traffic and stuff. When you're crossing the street to go to the convenience store? The convenience store? <laughs> the con <laughs> it's a liquor the store. Liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> Where they know you by. Actually, I don't think they, I don't, I think, I don't think it's a liquor, liquor store. Like, I don't think they sell liquor. I think they just sell beer and wine. Really? Hmm. Yeah, so I think it's just a market. When they see you. The liquor store is down the street. It's down the street. I'm just wondering if when they oh, see like you walking in, do they have everything ready for you right at the counter so you don't even have to... No, I don't shop. actually go there very often. Oh. I would think that you'd be there all the time. No. Because they're a little... Um, I think they're a little pricey. Oh. But, so noted. So I told them once when I was in there. I'm like... Because Vaughn's is only... Like two blocks away. It's No, it's a block. A block. Yeah. Okay. So I told them once, I'm like, why am I coming in here and paying $5 for something I could, if I walked a block, I could pay half of. I mean, I could understand for a little convenience, you, you know, throw some change on there. Mm -hmm. But really? <laughs> Two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I'll, so I told them, I said, I don't think I'm going to come back here. And they wow. haven't been back. You know me, once I make my mind up, I and my mind's made up. Your mind is made up. Yes. Because Vons is, I mean, I could walk to Vons. I walk yeah. to Vons all the time. This on a, is true. Almost on a daily basis. To get my din din. To get your dinner, for, to get your barbecue when you want barbecue. Uh, I don't go to Vons for a barbecue. You were there one night, remember? We did a, almost an entire segment about how you were so drunk and you were in there shopping. Well, first. that was in, that, oh, you mean when I want a barbecue, <laughs> yeah, not for barbecue want, food. When you want to barbecue. Yeah, well. <laughs> I've been there, in there many of times. Now they know me by name. My like, girl, have you been drinking again? I'm like, no. I have to ask you if you've been to the new Sonic yet, the on El Cajon. I have. And? Uh, it was okay. It was Sonic. Oh, okay. Have you been there? I have not been to that one yet, no. Huh? But you've been to Sonic. Yeah, I've been to Sonic. Yeah. Time. The only problem that I have with Sonic is this. <clears throat> there are tater tots are only good when they're hot. Tater tots are, are only good when they're hot. Mm -hmm. And so you have to eat the tater tots like right away. It's not something that you can go and get and, bring and then drive home mm -hmm. because by the time you get home, then the tater tots aren't good anymore. Mm -hmm. So I guess, I mean, you can eat at the little car hoppy thing. Right. Where mm -hmm. you just go pull in an order. Right. And then you have to sit there and eat and... I don't know. There's something weird about <laughs> sitting there in your car eating by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're like, so you want to go with the somebody. paparazzi? I'm sure would take a photo of me stuffing my face at Sonics. That's why you have to go incognito. Yeah, no, I don't think it would matter. I think they would be like, "Oh yeah, there's Ophelia's here's, car. <laughs> here she is. Look at her." <laughs> That's just like there's this. Uh, God, I can't think of his name right now. Uh, He's kind of known around town. Really, really, really gorgeous body. Like, he's just hot and very athletic, and he's hot. I mean, he's, like, really hot. I want to say it's, like, Mike or something like that. Okay. So, um, I hardly ever see him except for out of the bars or, you know, whatever, you know. And he knows me both as a boy and a girl, mm -hmm. you know. I swear to you, the last four times that I have seen him... I have have been sitting at a stoplight with a hamburger from like <laughs> McDonald's, <laughs> like, <laughs> and the fucker like jogs by my car as I'm all <laughs> and waves at me. Hey, hey. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, <laughs> he must live close. Well, no, this is uh, like over in the. I see him like, like more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god. Yay! Rude. Rude. It's just rude. How was your Thanksgiving? I was very, uh, very low key. I just went to my mom and dad's house in the afternoon, had dinner. I was there maybe an hour and a half. Came home and caught up on TV. You know, I was like very behind on some shows, like mm -hmm. The Fosters. Mm -hmm. I was very behind on The Fosters. So I'm like, got all caught up with The Fosters. I was going to say, because they've been on hiatus. Well, they're back on. Not until January.
Well, I know, but I got caught up. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, because I didn't, because right. I, you know, I was off. So, yeah, I spent most of Thanksgiving uh, catching up on TV, and and uh, that was it. And working. Did you work, like, Friday and Saturday and after Thanksgiving? No, no, when it comes, it's so hard on them. Okay. Like, no. They want it all done before Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would, yeah, I had about that days off. I wouldn't, and then uh, I think on Friday, me and my mom went and ran around town. We gallivanted. Gallivanted. We gallivanted at the malls. Oh, God. At the malls. Did you do Black Friday? No, we didn't do Black Friday. <laughs> no. Um, That's a little too much for most people. I'm like, well, you know what? I was, um, I was, like, really surprised. Was, like, both of us were, were surprised that, uh, like, on Friday, when we went out, there was hardly anybody at the malls. Really? It was like a normal, maybe a little busier than like like a normal kind of day, but it wasn't like crazy. No. Hmm. I was like, hmm. But uh, on the news, I was listening, and they said that Cyber Monday, mm -hmm. Cyber Sales, is already up 50% of what it was last year. Wow. So more people are shopping online mm -hmm. than they are going to the malls. But then I kind of wonder... Me and my mom discussed this while we were having lunch at the mall. At Ruby, Ruby's. At the mall. I think it's Ruby's. Ruby's. Oh, so you went to Mission? Yeah, Mission we went Mall? to Mission Valley. I wonder, um, have you noticed how malls are becoming, how they are changing and becoming more, um, I can't think of the word, but they're not, shopping is n not the most important thing anymore. Right. You know, like in Mission Valley, now they have a, a dog park area. Mm-hmm. They have, you know, 24-hour fitness. They have the theater. And the chess sets. and the... Right. And that, and so many restaurants. So you have right. Outback and Ruby's and right. um, Tilted Kilt. And, uh, so they become like destination-type places like um, uh, Universal City Walk. Yeah. Where you go. They're becoming, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not, I don't think that malls, I, I think it's going to be interesting to see. There was a story. About that, that like the malls of the 80s that we remember, like, you know, when you would literally go with your friends, to, like hang out in the mall because that's what you would do on right. Friday and Saturday. That doesn't exist anymore. No. Like, you and, know, but then they were all stores. I mean, yes. you went to the mall. Yeah, there were stores. To go to Jeans Plus? So you can go. <laughs> <laughs> JW. Oh, Oak Lord. Tree. <laughs> and what was the other one? I don't remember. Structure. Really? Structure? Yeah. yeah. Structure and the Gap. Those were my two Oh, see, ours stores. were like... Anchor Blue. What was Anchor? Miller's Outpost. Miller's Outpost. I never did Miller's Outpost. Ours were Jeans. They did Wrangler. Wasn't that Wrangler? Yeah, I didn't do Wrangler. No, yeah, well, because... Wrangler is U-cut, not V-cut. Oh, God. Did you know that? No. I don't really understand either. That <sighs> must be a cowboy thing. Well, uh, Levi's oh. are V-cut. So the leg, you know what I'm saying? They're tapered, you mean? No, oh, so they... It comes to a V in, in, in the, the crotch, crotch area. Okay. Where uh, oh. Wranglers are U-shaped. They're like... So they do a U instead. Right, instead of a V. Oh, because they assume that people who wear Wranglers ride horses, and that's what a horse is. That, that's, like. why, but that's why people, you know, because they always say, you know, because asses look better in Wranglers than they do in Levi's. And they say it's because the, if the curve, you know, because of curve, it tightens it all up instead of the V. Which pulls it all flat. Well, it just kind of drags. Mm. The U kind of makes you, you know. Never, ever heard that. I'm surprised that Wranglers were, because uh, Levi's are the popular gene in the gay world. And that haven't they been like the popular gene everywhere for uh, all of the distance? Well, n no. Well, yes, but like uh, cowboys and and that kind of you know those kind of people, mm -hmm. they are Wrangler people. Got it. And Levi's are you know not. But mm -hmm. what I think fascinating is that people look better. You have a better ass in Wranglers than you do in Levi's. So you would think the gay boys would wear Wranglers. Yeah, Wrangler. Instead of Levi's. But you know what I also think it is, is that Wranglers, uh, they find them in, um, not that they're cheaper than Levi's, because they're technically really not. I mean, right. they're kind of comparable. No, I think they're 
I never thought of Wranglers as cheap jeans. I always thought of them as rather expensive, actually. But you buy them at cheaper places. Right. Like at JCPenney. Right. Okay. Well, you can buy Levi at JCPenney, too. But, I mean, I think because the stigma of people is that because you would buy Wrangler at Walmart or mm -hmm. yada, 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 right. instead of buying Levi's at, you know, Bullock's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well... It's so funny because they have a, quite a few nice brands like Lucky and Seven for All Mankind that are supposed to be like the top level, very expensive denim mm -hmm. manufacturers that now sell their jeans at Costco. And you can get them for really cheap. You can get Lucky jeans at Costco for like 35 bucks. So. Well, I don't think that Lucky is as popular as it used to be. Well, I think what's really interesting, though, is you can go to, like, Simon Mall or whatever you fashion right. brand, whatever the hell it's called, and go into the Lucky store, and, like, I don't think there's a pair of Lucky jeans in there less than 100 bucks. But then, but you're paying for the space. Correct. I, you must be. Which is... Which it goes back to... The mall thing. The mall thing <laughs> is that, you know, stores aren't going to be able to... Because most people are not... Are shopping online. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they're finding stuff cheaper. Um, and they're, you know... Other than, you know, you might get them stolen off your porch. It's more convenient. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that people are necessarily going to to the mall. Right. You know, like, I know that I have gone and um, to look at something. Because I'm a touchy person. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'll go and look at it and see if I like it. Mm -hmm. And then I come home and get online and order it for half of what I would have paid for it at the store. <coughs> I blame you. For my little online shopping addiction that I have acquired recently, I told because ever since you said that you started going to whatever the Chinese AliExpress, <laughs> I have been going to all different kind of websites. And if I see a deal where there's like cute little T-shirts that I want, and you can get like four T-shirts for twenty dollars, I'm all about it. Okay, so, well that's that that's that new uh, that's you know that that other company. Um, it's not AliExpress, it's um, all, it starts with an A. I think it's Albi or something. Mm -hmm. They just opened up their stock and they're giving Amazon now a huge run for their money because it's a lot cheaper than Amazon mm -hmm. because, you know, a lot of it comes from. And um, I have found that there's a bunch of stuff on Amazon, a bunch of sailors that are sellers so. that are on Amazon that I also see on my AliExpress and uh -huh. you know stuff which is you know cheaper so it takes a week longer to get to you to so. get but you know what I'm saying right like I ordered razors you know my oh, my Gillette razors. razors yeah from AliExpress because at, even at Costco to get my the razors that I use the mm -hmm. fusion whatever right. they are it's you know $49 for what 16 of them mm -hmm. And I can order 16 of them from AliExpress for like 24, and what's I bet and it's probably like 28 dollars. Mm -hmm. And then it, they deliver them to my house, mm -hmm. and they are packaged, and they are the exact same razor as Costco. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm sorry, not 20 bucks is two drinks. But, uh, hey, exactly. <laughs> you got to think. Well, I have purchased recently so much stuff from. From Amazon and, and Zazzle and Zappos. I never got into Zappos. Well, Zappos started with shoes, and now right. it's fucking everything, essentially. Have you been to Just Fab? No, I have not. And Just Fab's another good one. I can't go to any other places because fucking Amazon keeps sending me these um, discount coupon codes for 25 and 35 and 40% off stuff every single time so of course i've got to use them so i go and i spend more money it it is this cycle and i literally i have that's i buy all my curd k-cups there I buy See, my curd k-cups i get from another website well there's i every, because the curd web the one that i use if my curd machine breaks down mm -hmm. then they replace my machine well my mine is the same way um i bought mine directly through curd and I've gotten now two Keurigs just replaced. Right. And then this last one was the, the Cuisinart Keurig, whatever. But I'm telling you, I my last purchase of K-Cups was 68 K-Cups mm -hmm. that I, with my coupon code and everything, all total, $19. Mm. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> Suck it, Starbucks. Okay. <laughs> I love my fucking Keurig. I love that thing. I bought a Keurig for the for the center. As, you didn't. I want to get. I want to get the new Keurig. Is that the one that does the smaller ones? The does like the espresso one? No. Yeah, we'll oh, do, the, yeah. the 2.0 Keurig one that can make big pots, too. Well, well, but then the other one, it also will make the... the small little espresso right, ones. Right, the espresso ones or, or whatever. Yep. Yeah. I think that's going to be my next. I saw, I think, one of those in Bed Bath & Beyond. That place is another place that sucks me in. Cause of those Bed damn, Bath & Beyond? Those damn coupons. Those 20% off coupons. I love those. And you go in there, you know, with a handful. And you're you, like... Yeah, yeah. You're like 15. And it, yeah. So. Yeah. I love okay. that. All right, we should probably take a break because All right, it's let's. like 20 minutes or so. So we'll be right back. Okay. We're back. And the DJ over here is turning on and off the music. No, I like that song. What I was, was going to turn it up, but uh, now it's... Adele? No. Oh, something else. It's gone. Yeah. Well... That's probably what's interfering with our mics. Let's refocus. Yeah. I don't think this is interfering with the mics. The producer director is telling us to refocus because we actually have a show to do. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Well, what should we talk about? You come about? up with a topic and I will talk about it. Let's talk about restaurants. Okay, what about them? Closing. Bye-bye. Well, that was easy. I, um, <laughs> I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be surprised. And I would love for someone to say that um, that I told everyone exactly that this was going to happen as Todd Gloria and many other people continue to take parking away from Hillcrest. Mm -hmm. Put in bike lanes, take away parking, and people will leave. We are in California, in San Diego, where people want to drive their car to a place and park it. So, poor Hillcrest now can settle on the people that can leave their little humble abodes, walk and support their restaurants. In the meantime, people like me are driving where we can park. And I all support those restaurants. Boom. So you are all for them getting rid of that house next to Moe's for the parking lot there. Well, I don't... That, I'm, but it, that's only going to help Moe's, really. I mean, it's still well, going to be... Yeah, it's still going to be... For, what, 17 spaces? Right. That 17 spaces is not going to be the answer Correct. to Hillcrest. Correct. We need a parking structure in Hillcrest. Well, they they, they keep poo-pooing the idea. They were going to put in... Um, is that CVS? CVS? Or is it Walgreens? Uh, they were... Across from us? Walgreens. When they were going, when they first initially turned in their plans, I believe that they had set it up that it, they were going to put parking. It was going to be parking. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. it would have been like four. I think they were going to do four stories, three for parking and then for the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And of course, everyone had a big old cow about wanting to do the parking lot. So right. the, Walgreens was going to put in parking. But everyone is so anti parking in Hillcrest right now. And it. Everybody is so strict about the fucking height ordinance, too, which right. is why, you know, they only want things to go up however many stories that it's supposed to be seven now, and they don't even want that. They want it lower. Well, in Hillcrest, I think, I don't think you can go higher than three, three or four. Right in Hillcrest proper. Huh. I just think that's going to hinder anybody coming in there to do any sort of developing that would be able to... Well, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of like, it's part. part of the reason that, uh, what is that? Pepperoncinis or <laughs> Pernicanos. <laughs> why they're not? I mean, that's why that's not going to sell. Who's well, going to go there? That and twelve million dollars is what they want for it. Yeah, but it, a hotel, correct? A, we need something like that would go in there and would open. However, it's not friendly or conducive for them to do that. Until they do there parking. will be no parking for their guests. There will be no. You know, they can only go this high. You have all of the people that whine over the noise. So, no. I mean, no one's going to go in there and do it. Mm -hmm. Even if it... I don't think... Even if it was five million, people are not going to go and do it in Hillcrest. It... They have turned it away to be a very uh, community 
little city so mm -hmm. they can all ride their little bikes mm -hmm. and they can walk. So right. all of the bike walkers and the walkers need to get out of their little houses and now go and support the businesses that they pushed everyone away from. They don't want noise. They don't want... Like, so there they are. And primarily we're talking about the people who complain through the Hillcrest Town Council. I'm just going to point that out. Yeah. We've had them on the show. Um, it's funny to me, too, because you're not the first person that I've heard say that, especially with the closing of the restaurants that are happening in Hillcrest. And there was an article that came out today on the Eater that said, is Hillcrest no longer a dining destination? No, it's not. It's, it's not. And if it's not, it's definitely not going to be So there are several restaurants that have turned over probably three different tenants in, in the last year. That, that Blue Ribbon, mm -hmm. which Rustic Kitchen, which then became Social Experiment, which now officially closed. Right. Of course, Harvey Milk's. Um, there are several other storefronts that have had um, that Commonwealth, and then it was the range and whatever. So that's, I mean, and it, a lot of it is because people feel like they can't drive from Kensington to go there. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to force, their whole thing is that they want people to become more public transportation oriented. But people aren't going to do gonna that. Happen. They are yeah. not going to do it. Not here in San Diego. No. Make the public transportation better than it is. Exactly. And then maybe they will. Thank you. Well, I, it's, I, don't even, I don't even think that it has to do with better. It's that it, it, it's just, it's not going to happen. Uh, if you, I think that if people look for a community or a city or whatever to live, mm -hmm. and that's important to them, mm -hmm. then they're not going to look at San Diego. They're going to look at New York, San Francisco, Seattle. They're going to look at those places that are that were built to be that structure right this was not built to be that structure right so we can't turn it around it would be like go like los angeles suddenly wanting to become more community mm -hmm. public transportation it's not going to happen it's good for the people that uh want to use it you know mm -hmm. but i mean even if you look at uh at car sharing mm-hmm Car to go is a. It, I'll use them as an example. Uh, I would. There you have a great concept, and they they actually got people to sign up and start using their service so that they could go into Hillcrest, mm -hmm. uh, into those little areas, uh, easier for parking. Right. It it I, it filled a void. Right. However, all of the parking. The privileges that 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 they once had so that people could go and park in the yellow zone or park at the meter or park you know in places mm -hmm. the city's now said no 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 you can't do that anymore mm -hmm. so now people are not as willing to take car to go i'm one of them because now parking, even for that, has become an issue. Right. You have to park either in car to go designated parking spots right. or places that are not metered. Right. And trying to find a place that isn't metered. And the reason why I have not used car to go um, anymore is because if you park it somewhere and that car gets a ticket while you have, if you were the last person to then use it. Then you get it. You not, well, you not only get the ticket, they give you a service charge for that ticket. And that service charge is 29 bucks. Yeah. So not only do you get the parking ticket fee, you get a $29 service charge from car to go. And they don't tell you. They just charge your bill. They just charge you. Yeah. So I'm like, no, that ain't happening. I'm not using you no more. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah, I mean, so it goes back to, a, you know, I just think that if people, you've got to make it friendly for people to want to come there. Mm -hmm. You know, it, simplicity works. When it's not simple, then it doesn't work. You want to know what's so ironic to me, too? Is when I, I totally do. Is when I look at all the historic photos of, like, Hillcrest and, and San Diego all the trolley lines everywhere and all of the really fantastic public transportation that there was right back then was all dug up so people could have cars 
Wars. Right. And now they want to put rid of it. And now they want to put it back right. in. I mean, it's like that whole bus route down um, what Park. What the hell? That is, that is a disaster. Uh, that not only is a disaster, that is just more accents waiting. I cannot tell you how many people I have seen turn into that. Turn into that. Uh -huh. I'm like... A, that is like a huge, huge ticket if you get caught doing that. Right. But it's not even set up like to where like, don't come in, don't come right. in. You can easily do yep. that. Yeah, I, I see it every time I have turned from university on. Like from somebody in, yes, yeah. somebody in front of me turns down that. Or they're halfway through it and they realize what they're doing. They slam on their uh -huh. brakes. Yeah, I'm like, well, there is another wonderful planning project. Speaking of time, Gloria. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> mm -hmm. He released a statement that he's hoping that his that his fellow city city council members will keep him as the council president. The president, right? Because they have they vote on the eighth, right? Meanwhile, <laughs> it appears <laughs> as though his fellow council people are looking at um, electing somebody new to take his president position. Maybe we should go on the news media and do it on TV. What? <laughs> Ask for uh, everybody to keep him. He did. Oh, Todd? I was being a smart ass, but... <laughs> no, no, no. That's... No, no, no. That's what I... No, he absent... No, of course, Todd... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Todd went on the on the news and... Oh, I didn't... Wanted know. people to... Wanted to... Made a, a comment about how he wanted the... That he was sure that Confident. his council people would... You know, because he has so much more to do. So many more public appearances And he's to make. termed out when? Two years? I... Yeah. I think so, right? Yeah. So he's termed out in two years. Yeah. yeah. No, the old last interview I ever saw Todd, Todd do, which was yesterday or day before, was about the trying with working with um, Kevin to find a permanent year-round homeless shelter again. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, have we not talked about what was going on at the World Trade Center on this show before with Community Connections and PATH? And was that not supposed to be... Because did not my Talk mother move down here to take that job? <laughs> and she abruptly left when she realized they didn't have their shit together. What I think <laughs> is even more upsetting, and I know if we go back, because how long have we been doing the show? Six years, Golden, six years. Why is it that it becomes a topic when it starts raining? Yep. Why is it not a topic in June? Or... <laughs> Before that, why is it not a topic some time out? Why is it only a topic when they're in their cars driving home in the rain that it becomes newsworthy? Right. Why are we forgetting the, the rest of the time? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, and we look at all of the places where there could be spaces mm -hmm. and they're not even... Uh, they're not even open for discussion anymore. I get the people wanting to complain about uh, the downtown. I get that. Because I think that uh, you have businesses downtown. Uh, and you've got to take them into consideration. And the businesses that are downtown, they're clearly are the money makers. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we have to acknowledge right. that they are uh, the financial foundation of the of the city so you kind of have to make them a little happy and sure. they're not gonna they don't want the uh they don't need the people sleeping in there and that doorways so and urinating downtown is not the answer right. it is not the answer and east village is no longer the answer because east village has become downtown yes but the perfect spot <laughs> and i say it again and i've been saying it <laughs> for years the old Midtown post office. It's an empty fucking building that they could get, they could work with the federal government who also wants to take, you know, needs to do it. It's an empty building. Where is it? The old uh, post office, the Midway post office. Oh. Oh, uh, by the hole. Yes. That's closed? Yes, it's been closed for years. I didn't, all, I didn't know it was closed. All either. that's <laughs> all that's open, which they, because it's the and the post office still owns. It's not the main post office anymore. Right. As they still have their little uh, their post office boxes there. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. So they don't that do can, sorting or anything. Like they that. don't do anything. 
that was the largest sorting plant there was in, in you know, in the county, in yeah. Southern California. Yeah. And now it's gone. I mean, it's closed. They have one little storefront that they use. The rest of the facility is empty. The parking lot's empty. That parking lot is ginormous. That's that whole area <laughs> is empty. So why not open that up? Put in the facilities that are down there. It. You don't have the people that are downtown. You aren't, there, it's not heavily populated. You have Navy housing, mm -hmm. which is totally separate. Right. You put them in there. Mental, the mental health facility is just a it's right spit away. The street, right. You know what I'm saying? There's already behind there where uh, the homeless veterans uh, mm -hmm. tent is, the homeless veterans. Mm -hmm. um, is right there. Everything is right, right there. But not one person, every time they bring that up, the Midway Post, it, oh no, that facility would never work. We need something to put all the, the agencies in. It's a huge, empty facility. Is it, they think they don't, they're trying to get the agencies to pay for it anyways. Mm -hmm. And so they're thinking that the agencies won't foot the bill to put up some walls? I don't even think you'd need to put up walls. You really wouldn't. I mean. I mean. Put in dorm beds. You have, yeah. you have a, you know, you, where the sorting thing, you know, that's just a, a one big, big huge room. warehouse. Yeah. Which you can, you know, put your beds in. You know that there were offices in there. You know that that facility can handle different, I mean, all of the agencies that need to be handled. And you have so many resources all within walking distance of where that is. Mm -hmm. Like I just said, the veterans, you know. County health. County health. Um, the opposite way is the the women's veterans and children's mm -hmm. um, homeless uh, offices, but so it's simple and it's vacant. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the it's, it's sitting there doing nothing. Right. It's the federal government owns it, and it's vacant. Mm. <laughs> I don't. You mean, should write a letter. I don't. Oh, I've written. Oh, I've written. <laughs> I mean, clearly, politics is not logical. I'm still waiting for you to run for county chief. Oh my god, I so want to. <laughs> Jay is going to be your campaign manager. And chief of staff. And yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You want to talk about all of the? Um, you want to talk about all the grand jury things? I'll get even more people pissed off no. at me. I do not want to talk about those. Not even, not even remotely. I don't want to talk about. Really? No. Nope. Why? I just don't. God, you try to stay so politically correct, it's so oh, cute. Well, you know, I do what I can. <laughs> Should we come back and talk about hot topics? That is a hot topic. <laughs> Besides that. <laughs> come on, let's talk about it. <coughs> I do not want to talk about it. Excuse me. Well, I choked it up. I do have to tinkle. You really don't want to talk about it? I you don't. want to hear what I want to think about it? You know, when our email box to blow up. Um, Jay, do you want me to talk about it? No. <laughs> Why does no one want me to talk about it? That is the problem of no one wants to talk about it. So. Sip your juice. Mm hmm. <laughs> my juice is what got me wanting to talk about oh it. Oh my god, maybe we shouldn't have. <laughs> no. No, I just think that it's a little cray cray right now. And I think what is more crazy about it is that nobody wants to talk about it, but people want to go out and protest and not look at uh, some real serious issues. I won't even talk about Ferguson. We'll just talk about the latest one in New York with the police officer. Shall we talk about that one? Okay. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I say this. That guy, when they told, when those police officers were trying to arrest him, and they resisted, when he resisted arrest, they had the right, it's their job to do that. And you cannot tell me that when someone resists, I, it, it happened, I, more and more I see it. If someone resists arrest, or lacks the respect of the authority of which they're given, then they, they should be able to, to use force. And I think they should be able to shoot them <laughs> as well. What I think is even more of like, uh, 
is people were all pissed off in Ferguson. It's all going to tie back together, so I guess I will bring it back. <laughs> they were all pissed off because the guy shot him. Mm. There were so many other things that, that the police could have done other than shoot him. So here's a situation where they did something else, and yet they're still out protesting. I just don't get it. No comment? <laughs> Jay, no comment? <laughs> And please send all your emails to Ophelia at HSSS. <laughs> send away. So I'll get them essentially and I'll score them to you. <laughs> On that note, we should take a break though because I have to be. Oh my God. Okay, all of you guys are so boring. We're back. After a refill of cocktails and a calming down of... <laughs> we can still talk about it. Since <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they wouldn't talk about that, we could talk about politics instead. Well, you know. You know how we love to talk about politics. Well, you love okay, to talk about Yeah, politics. I was going to say, because I hear you say very much. Well, remember that thing that, that we were talking about right before we started this and someone at... Um, at uh, Lips was talking over you and you had to have a little conversation with them. Well, I remember a little conversation we had about five years ago. <laughs> oh, what was that? But how are you not talking over me? Exactly. <laughs> Girl, but, I learned my lesson. But sometimes, I know when to shut up when I'm supposed to. <laughs> sometimes your opinion is worthy. Would you ever do that? What is that? Dye your underarm hair? I don't have underarm hair. <laughs> Oh, it's only new age girls. It's do that. stinky. It's weird. Um, you have to run your tongue through Hawkeye's fuck no. Ow. We've talked about manscaping before, right? Yes. Okay. What do you think about anal bleaching? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just asking because someone is having a special at their little shop. And I was thinking maybe I'd try it. Chuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, so you've never done it before? Mm -mm. Not bleaching. I mean, you know, of course I do the crack wax and all right. that stuff, but I've never done the What would bleaching. be the point? I mean, if you wax it. Well, I don't know. You know, Thomas, who we have not really talked about on the show, right. who's my new boyfriend, he asked me the same thing. Like, what would be the point? Because <laughs> I'm never going to see it, so... <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. It makes me feel good. It's the same reason why I get my... How could it make you feel good? Are you going to walk, like, are, are you gonna walk around with a mirror down there so you can see it? How often do you look at your butthole? I've never had it done. I don't know. But have you ever... Like, do you go down there to examine your butthole? I feel it every okay, once in a while. Okay, but feeling it and the bleaching thing is a cosmetic thing is it not i guess i don't i think so i don't yeah know. so unless you're is gonna go in with a mirror and you're gonna be all oh look at do, do people get botox on their asshole no why would you get I, I don't know i'm just curious <laughs> I don't know. people like both <laughs> what? okay so i have a friend that had a surgical procedure yes to tighten his sack yeah and so it doesn't have any there's no you know what i like the ridges in the skin or right something. it's all smooth now and it actually looks really cool but i mean who wants to lick a smooth sack i don't think that would be well, first off, if, oh first off, if, if it was bothering him, like if it was too wrinkled, just grow hair. I, no, I think it's because he had what is called extremely low hangers. Right. And they were extremely low. Right. Um, and he did a lot of bike riding and, and running and things like that. And it would, they would. It would hurt his nuts, essentially. They just get them raised by an inch or so. Why'd you have to say Well, he had them raised, I would say, probably more than an inch. Okay. And they are now... I would almost think that that would... I would think that would almost be uncomfortable. Like, especially in the summer. Or I mean, yeah, in the summer when it's, like, all hot. I don't know. They drop I, for a reason. 
Yeah. I, I mean, I, I guess. I don't know. I think you should leave that all. It's, you should leave it alone. You don't shave your balls? Well, yes, I, because I found gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> I used to not until I found gray hair. Now it, it's all gone. It's all gone. You should go to my waxer. No, I'm not. What now? The pain is like five seconds. No. Uh, so is uh, shaving every other day. <laughs> oh, we'll see. This you only have to do like every six weeks. No, no, no. I'm very hairy. And so yes, even even yeah. when I have uh, waxed, waxing maybe lasts me two weeks. Really? And then I'm all stubbly again. And you're all stubbly. Mm. Yeah, doesn't matter. And it doesn't come back like a little... Nope. Less... I've had... I have used to wax my legs and my back and my arms. So you see my arms? Mm -hmm. yeah, that is because... I mean, I used to have very, very hairy arms. And... Uh, but my... But you're not as hairy as I am. Well, I was. Until mm. I had my... Um, my arms were, I should say, um, until I started having them waxed. Yeah. And then it's, see how fine it grows I'm back? Still, it's all I'm fine. still so much more hairy than you. <laughs> yes, I imagine you are. You I'm just... Some, some Greek in you. I mean, I have like, I can have a full beard in four days. Well, this is... Three. No, I mean a full beard. <laughs> I can have a goatee in two. Like a full goatee in two days. Yeah. You must have a lot of testosterone. I could, I'm telling, I do have a lot of testosterone. <laughs> I told you that story about the gym. Don't you remember? Yes, I know. I remember. Yes. <laughs> People would like that. Maybe you could. Did you ever hear about that story? I so. um, I'd gone to, this was, oh God, how long ago? This was a while ago, four or five years ago. Um, I got in a fitness craze. Um, we remember. You were doing all the swimming and all that right. stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'd gone to the gym and I had got a trainer and I met with the trainer and I said, look, I don't want to, I don't want to bulk up. I just, I want to tone down because, you know, I'm a drag queen <laughs> and um, I don't want to be all, you know, mm -hmm. in, in clothes. I mean, I already have enough problem in dresses. And uh, so he's, so he's like, oh, okay, well, you just need to do less weight, more rep reputations. Mm -hmm. Repetitions. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I did that. And I mean, I was like, when I say less weight, I mean, I'm talking like 10 pounds. I mean, it was like semi-embarrassing in the weight room. <laughs> you know, with all these people are like, Rrr! and I'm all, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was, it was kind of embarrassing. And I still bulked up. And, um, I'm like, dude, remember this conversation we had? And he goes, well, you can't. I mean, you're, you're using 10 pound weights. I mean, like, you know, so then we went down to five and that's when I started swimming because we, we went off of the weight and we we're going to start swimming, but do a little bit. And, um, even on five pounds, I still bulked up and I mean, like bulked up. I mean, my chest got all, it was horrible. <laughs> My dresses are not finished. Yeah, that's exactly it. I mean, I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? It My was horrible. I mean, if I, you know, so I had another meeting with him. I'm like, you know, this isn't working, blah, blah, blah. Nah, nah, nah. And he's like, well, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. He goes, so I'm going to, you know, I'm going to read and, and stuff. And then so I had a, another meeting with him. And uh, I go in and he's like, all right, so I've talked to a couple other trainers and nutritionists and, and stuff. And there's only one explanation that you would bulk up like you do with no uh, no weight. I mean, five pounds mm -hmm. is, you know. He goes, you have very high levels of testosterone. Like, you would be an amazing natural bodybuilder because you, you know. Mm -hmm. So I sat there for a second. And I'm like, well, Okay. Uh, two things. <laughs> one, <laughs> uh, you need to put that in writing because no one I know is no. going to believe <laughs> right. that I, when I tell them that I have high levels of testosterone are going to believe me when I, you know. And two, you're fired. <laughs> I <laughs> need estrogen. <laughs> this, this working out thing clearly is not going to work out for me. And so that's what, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why, uh, that's part of the reason I don't work out very much. Although swimming was really good. And I would like to do, um, 
I wanted to try Pilates, but you can bulk up just doing from yes. Pilates, yes, and I don't want to because it's body weight. You're still you're still doing resistance, too. right? It'll probably be worse than working out with your yeah, because yeah. It's, yeah, you're you lifting your body weight. Yeah. So if I ever decide not to become, you know, if I, when I decide not to be too drag anymore, I'm, I'm gonna be one. You're gonna be. You're gonna I'm gonna be a bodybuilder. fucking do muscle you do, freak. Have you ever done a yoga? hairy muscle freak? Do you do yoga? Have you tried? No. Yoga? You could try that. Well, I heard that people fart a lot during yoga. Well. <laughs> I mean. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm, not gonna, try it. I'm not gonna go in there and I'll be all gassy with people. You could do the hot yoga because Oh I'm hell gonna... no. Well, I don't mean Ophelia should do hot yoga. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am going to um I do have a friend who has just finished she just finished yoga training. Mm -hmm. And uh so she is going to uh do me and this other friend Joe and his boyfriend Alex and me, they have a little studio in their well, I don't know if it's a studio. They're turning into a little studio, a, a little room at their house. Mm -hmm. And she's going to come over and teach us, the three of us, yoga. I'll do it with them. That's perfect. You should try it. You'll probably like it. Yeah. Because that's more about lengthening the muscles and flexibility. Yeah. So then you'll be... Yeah, so I have a lot of testosterone. No, I'd be hairy. I would be, yeah... I mean, okay, yeah, because even if I don't, you know, because I shave my legs, obviously, because I don't like pantyhose. If I don't, I, like, two days, and I am, like, all prickly. I see, and that, like, even the rubbing together or anything like that, that would drive me nuts. Yeah. I've often, I'm, well, I haven't often, but if, a couple of times I've thought it would be interesting to see, like, if I had an extended a time off, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where I didn't have to dress up, uh, and I didn't shave, like, I just let everything... You know what I'm saying? I wonder what that would, like, I wonder what that would look like. You know, that my, you know, my chest and my legs and my arms. You'd be Ophelia Adams. <coughs> I think it would be really kind of um grizzly later. Yeah. I'll feel your bro. Yeah, feel your bro. Yeah, I think that would be kind of interesting. Hmm. I don't see it happening anytime soon, but yeah, it could happen. I, I, my hair all everything on my hair everything about my body hair changed i i used to have very dark hair and then it all turned gray no it just turned light and then gray yes i mean well yes after chemotherapy it all came back gray all of it came back gray i also used to have very curly hair and it came back straight so so what about down there same gray it's all gray <laughs> I mean, essentially, my leg hair is all gray. It's, it's what happens. But if you want to have the smoothest legs in the world, chemo. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm just saying. I want to cancer. Yeah, can I? Can I get chemo? You know, they have, um, they, uh, I was just reading this, this report. Which I think is very interesting. But they were coming out with a drug to grow hair back, which they have discovered by accident, which most drugs are, you know, by accident. By accident. All of them, mostly. <laughs> um, but it's, but people are growing uh, full, you know, full heads of hair with this drug. And they found it with... Um, What's it called? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't think they have it. I don't think they have a name. They don't. They don't have a name for it. But they. Um, oh God, now I, I'm gonna have to look it up. But it's two drugs because they were treating people that had two things. And one of them was um, anapecia, mm -hmm. you know, where they lose their hair. Oh right. And the other one was. Um, I want to say it could have been diabetes, but. Is that high blood pressure? No, I think I'm it was thinking something. I'm no. hearing something about. I don't think no, it wasn't high blood pressure. It was it was some other um, problem that they were they were treating both of them, and they were giving them two different pills, mm -hmm. and the two pills together, the people were growing their hair back. So now they're trying to come up with a way to um, just on my head or everywhere. Uh, mainly on your well, wherever you would grow hair. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So like. Guys that would have hairy chest, hairy chest, then they would get lots of hair, or that they, they would grow it. 
Okay. But, you know, like, uh, people that, like, have anapecia, they just lose their hair. Mm -hmm. They lose all their hair. And this would grow back. So if you, you know, they would grow eyelashes and eyebrows mm -hmm. and hair. And if they, you know, grew hair on their chest, then they would grow hair on their chest. It wouldn't grow where you didn't have the where you didn't have it before yeah. or it wouldn't grow like a bush you know what i'm saying right it would grow like it would like it was supposed to okay hmm. so i'm waiting for that drug to come out what but what if you've what if you had hair but then you started losing it that's the same that's the people that's okay they're thinking that, that the hair will grow back will grow back will oh. grow back wow do you know like and can i also tell you uh, when they do come out with this, and whatever pharmaceutical company that it is that's coming out with it, <laughs> I'm I'm buying stock. <laughs> I'm buying stock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't care if I just, you know, can afford to buy, you know, a stock or two stocks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I will buy stock because th that industry will be insane. I mean, like, people will go crazy. And I think that guys would pay... A huge amount of money for that where they wouldn't you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like some women pay a lot of money for you know for certain things and you know I think the guys would you know I think yeah I think there are a lot of guys that would but they're they're not sure about the side effects well that's gonna be with, with and that's what must that, that's <laughs> with any drug and at that point it's like well you have a choice to make right do you want to Try and see if you can deal with the side effects so you can have some hair. Or... Right. Yeah, because they're saying you could have like liver failure or, you know. Or I'm like, yeah, okay. The poopiest poop butt in the whole world. <laughs> I'll have hair on my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Won't be God. able to do anything, but. <laughs> well, it's so funny. I Yesterday I had posted uh, an article about this. I, I don't know if. You've heard anything about the male um, birth control pill? Yeah, it's called the, swallowing. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pill, girl, pill. <laughs> well, they are already distributing it in Indonesia, but they found that shit by accident, too. And it wasn't, it's actually not a chemical, chemical, per se. It's like a like a plant that they came across that some aboriginals were using for some, for like... So it makes the guy wounds. sterile? Um, it, yeah, it makes his sperm sterile. And I'm, they're, they're using it to great, great success over in Indonesia to keep the population in control. So I wonder if there's some guys over here that might take that, Quillen. And... <laughs> well, why would they take it? Well, so they... Stop getting girls pregnant. <laughs> so they don't have but to pay they, child support? I don't know. Well, then they would take that paternity show off the air. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I well, love what that would paternity. we do without more COVID? Oh, <laughs> that would be upsetting. I like me a good oh, judge Lord. show. Knock, knock, knock. That's our time. That oh, I guess it's time to go. <laughs> God, we didn't even get to talk about Obama. I know. We'll have to save that for next week. Okay. I'll note it. Yes. And then we'll also be talking two about weeks. prep. Oh, yes. Two weeks. Whatever. Oh, why is it two weeks? I don't remember. Cause oh, because we, we decided two weeks. Remember? We're going to do a show every other week. And I'm in Philadelphia. Oh, well, <laughs> that would be why. <laughs> so it'll be our pre-Christmas show. <sighs> Already. Already. I know. All right. I'll Maybe I'll decorate. Oh, that would be cute. I doubt it. A little tree. He could move the camera around so we could see your place. I doubt it. No. <laughs> She's like, no thanks. Thank <laughs> you. All right. We'll see everybody later. Bye.